Today I'm going to talk about Japanese cakes. Welcome back to Happy Eating Challenge. As you know, I love making sweets and I eat them every day. I don't want to restrict myself from the food that makes me happy. My definition for the cakes and sweet is the nutrition for the soul. It's like a fuel to keep going, and when I think of the sweet, it's waiting for me at 3 or 4 o'clock, that makes me so happy. But keep in mind, it should be in a small amount and eat mindfully. Let's go back to the chart. I put 0.5 units for the snacks and sweets. You don't have to be too strict about how much you will have, but you can use this chart as a guide. It's not really a nutrition, but as I said, this is the nutrition for the soul and mind, and it doesn't have to be a big portion. When I was on a false diet, I stayed away from the sweet and ended up eating entire box of chocolate or donut. But when I decided to eat snacks each day a little, I have never gone back to that kind of eating on the mood. I choose to eat healthier options instead of potato chips or chocolate bars. When you carefully select cakes or snacks of higher quality, you will satisfy with a small amount. I am living in Japan and I eat relatively low in calories cakes and small portions whatsoever. For example, this is a typical Japanese birthday cake, the strawberry shortcake. Let's compare it with the American type of the birthday cake. I don't usually count calories anymore, but I think comparing numbers is easy to understand in this case. This is a 6 inch shortcake recipe from my videos. You can see it on my channel or my website. It's an all time favorite. Airy and moist sponge cake filled with juicy strawberries and coated with the fluffy and light whipping cream. And this one is the recipe from the American cakes. It's the same size, the 6 inch vanilla birthday cake. It looks the same, but as you can see the difference, this cake is buttery and dense and the buttercream is used. So if you have a one sixth of the slice, you will have over 1000 kilocalories. When you compare it with the Japanese cake, it's about three times higher in calories. So we should keep it once a year things if you want to have this kind of cake. I recommend making a Japanese style cake to be in a happy eating flow. When you start eating healthy, you don't even think about having rich and heavy food. If you start eating like a Japanese people, and once you get accustomed to cooking in our way, you are going to be satisfied with the lighter food. I should mention that I'm not eating that kind of cake every day, of course. I eat Japanese style sweets, wagashi, like this. I eat cakes once or twice a week at most. I enjoy wagashi or something lighter, like cookies. When I eat a piece of cake yesterday, I would have a handful of rice cracker today to keep the balance. This is my rice cracker container. This is so embarrassing to show you, but I mix several rice crackers in one container so I will not get tired of it. And sometimes I eat chilled baked sweet potato for snacks that is a resistant starch as a healthier option. On the other days, I eat this kind of very humble simple snacks. And when I make uh, cookies or sweet, I give them to people around me not to eat everything by myself. I keep a small amount for myself and eat mind free. What I mean by that is take time to taste all of the flavor profile. If it's the cookies, you are going to enjoy the texture first and as you chew, the pleasant smell of the butter comes up and toasty aroma will come next. And if there are a chocolate inside, it's going to melt in your mouth as you chew. Taste mindfully what's going on in your mouth. If you feel the taste in a true sense, and if you taste everything, you'll be satisfied with a small amount. And you will know how much your body needs to be in a perfect shape and health. In this way, I am enjoying my snacking time. Some people maybe don't want to eat snacks. 
But if you take a break with a snack and coffee or tea, your nerve will be relieved, and so you can be more creative. It worked at least for me. All right, that's it for today. I hope the video is helpful to be in your happy eating flow. Click like and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.